Right guys, in today's vlog we are in Kalamaki once more. We're going to take a nice walk along the beach and head down to Laguna's. We're going to take a look around Laguna's, maybe get some fish and chips or something like that. Just see where the day takes us. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ross. Kate's here as well, taking a leisurely stroll. We go across travel, we do holiday things and tourist destinations. So if you like what you see, click like and subscribe down there. It's absolutely free. And also, click that notification bell. But, uh, oh, seaweed everywhere. Um, but let's get to it. wooden things there on the beach and little py wooden pyramid things they're there to protect the turtles nest so turtle has nested there recently within the next 60 days a whole bunch of baby loggerhead turtles will come out and make their way into the sea amazing isn't it so there are stretches of this beach where it really isn't all that great i mean look at all this washed up dried out seaweed it just looks not all that i mean i know people have put on facebook that that these this is a really lovely beach and there are stretches of it where it is but as a beach and as a whole i think uh, i've been to better um and the water as well washing up all the the seaweed once your feet doesn't feel great so then if you can see these little bugs on the beach it can be a bit off-putting really i know it can't be helped so i'm not saying it I'm not saying there's anything that the, the tourist board or the guys who are on the beach here can do anything about it. It just doesn't seem that friendly though. So we have arrived in Laguna's now. We're about what, 20, 25 minutes, half an hour walk? Well, Maybe a bit longer the pace we were going. Yeah, yeah, we have took a, a few dips in the sea, but we're going to walk up this road here. It brings you out of the White Olive. It's a hotel we looked at, and in hindsight, it's a hotel I'm glad we didn't book. I'm quite happy with Kalamaki. Um, I'll tell you why I'm happy with Kalamaki over Laguna's in a little while, but let's get up there. Jeepers creepers, those things aren't they? Expect something to come crawling out at you. It's a bit creepy. Do you feel alive? You know I'm going crazy for you tonight. So that is the back of the white olive. I think it's the white olive elite in this one, isn't it? Um, have you stayed here before? Is it any good? We did look at it, like I said, and it does look really nice online. Um, but if you've stayed here before, then let us know if it's decent in the comments down below. Right, so we're now at the top of, the, uh, of that hill. Uh, on, well, I think it's called Kalamaki Road, actually. Um, it's the road that leads from Laguna since Kalamaki, if you couldn't tell by the name. Um, so let's take a look at what's down here. There is a few restaurants and bars and shops down here before you get to the strip. That's where it gets a little bit more, uh, how, do I, how do I say this? A little bit more adult. As you can see by this sign coming up here, we're heading towards Laguna's Strip. Laguna's main road is actually official name, but it's the strip, isn't it? Thank you. 
true. Early in the morning, extremely hot. Is this open? Should we have a look in here? Let's have a coke in here. Uh, yeah. There is, isn't it? Should we find another one? Yeah. It's in the shade. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and not other seats. Right, yeah, We're, we are looking for a pit stop. Um, already there's a lot of groups of lads out, a lot more than I thought actually. I thought they'd all be in bed still hung over. But uh, yeah, they're all, they're all starting to creep out and head for their early morning beers or early afternoon beers. Quad bikes do seem really popular actually in Zanzi, don't they? Everyone seems to be on a quad bike or a moped. Um, lots of young, I didn't know what that was then. Yeah, lots of the young lads and even some of the young girls actually I've noticed have uh, been, uh, been hiring a lot of quad bikes around them. I suppose it's better than electric scooters though, isn't it? <laughs> I do like a good Italian. What's Bella? Bella Zante. Not I nearly said Bella Italian. It's not, is it? Bella Zante. What's that like? Is it any good? If you've been there, drop it in the comments. And let us know. So we find a pit stop here. Lucky's Bar and Grill. Oh, let's get a coke or something. So I know we said we was going to have cokes, but um, yeah, we got here. <laughs> do what we always do. We're going to have coke. We're going to have coke. Two pints of alpha, please. So, I prefer myth mythos to alpha, but it's not bad. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me a bit like Stella. I'm not that keen on Stella. Yeah, yeah it's nice though, but I do prefer mythos. Right, so, pit stop complete. Let's carry on walking around Laganers, shall we? See what's around. See a go-kart place just ahead of us. And I, do you know what? Yeah, again, there's a lot of excursion places, isn't there? It is, yeah. There's a lot. Of, someone did mention to us actually who booked the uh, the shipwreck cruise that turned into a full island tour with. But there was about 25, was it 25 excursion shops on Lagging the Strip alone. I think so, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of competition. Well, there's got nothing on Benidorm, though, to be fair. decoration for a bar having uh, some garlic above the door. Wonder if it wards off the mosquitoes maybe. <laughs> They do vodka slush, but they're closed. I'm just saying to Katie, do you know what? I could smash a vodka slush right now. I love a vodka slush in the sun. There's a very wet floor here, actually. Yeah, let's be careful, it could be a bit slippy. Orient Garden Chinese, is it any good? Let us know down below in the comments. So I'm trying to find a fish and chip shop, which I have definitely seen down here at some point. 
Um, it's actually really annoying me that I can't find it though. Because I know I've seen it and I thought it was a lot further back the other way. I mean, I think the difference between here and Benidorm is in Benidorm strip during the day you've got a lot that's actually still open whereas here it's like nothing opens until late it's a bit like Gran Canaria in that sense Looks expensive, and I bet it's really expensive to run. I bet their electricity bills through no, the roof. No, this is five euro, it's fine. I'll go for three fifty. Oh yeah, it's actually that bad. Yeah, five euro a pint. I'll go pops three euros and shots for a euro. That is actually pretty cheap, right? Really considering, yeah. isn't it? It's not bad at all. behind us just there behind us small gear offs was it gear two gear offs and a small beer how much was it 790 790 that is a bargain though isn't it <laughs> absolute bargain now we're getting to the end of the strip this is where all your food places are there are a couple more bars and clubs down here as well um but this is pretty much it really So that is Laganus. Um, it is definitely more 18 to 30 based, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, compared to Kalamaki, I wouldn't come here as a family, whereas Kalamaki seems pretty ideal, it's pretty perfect for families, really. Um, that is all for today. Don't forget, you can like and subscribe down there. It is absolutely free. You can follow us on Facebook and ding that notification bell. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.